right, coming up next, we get to this welterweight bout between George St. Pierre and Donald Cerrone. never held a UFC title, but he has every other record he would like to have in the UFC. Most wins, most finishes. He is the perennial contender, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And this recent form he has shown since becoming a father, arguably the best of his story career. The very best Donald Cerrone we've ever seen. And the reason he has so many records is because, is because he's a guy that really embodies the term anybody, anywhere. You, you bring an octagon. Put it in the middle of an arena and invite Donald Cerrone. He will show up and he will give you a fantastic performance. Donald Cerrone is every man's favorite fighter, and rightfully so. When he has faced adversity in his career, he has come through with flying colors. See the win over Yancey Medeiros that stopped a skid. Donald Cerrone with momentum back on the proven ground here tonight. DC, like Frank Sinatra, this man has done it his way. The former UFC welterweight and middleweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. A lot of people believe pound for pound, DC, GSP is the best they've ever seen. Yes, because he was able to mix everything together so well. When he was fighting a wrestler, he was able to keep the fight standing. When he was fighting a striking specialist, he was able to take him to the ground. His jiu-jitsu and just his full-on MMA game was something that we had never seen in the UFC before. Won the UFC championship at middleweight after being away for four years. Just showed how special George St. Pierre truly is. In terms of MMA application of wrestling, no one has done it better than George Rush St. Pierre. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. GSP is two years the elder. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 36 wins, 15 losses, one draw and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, George Rush St. P. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by GSP. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Left hand counter. Oh, massive. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, big knee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Look at how fast. Shots count. Just 
just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. All right, side control now. St. Pierre's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Side control now. There's that knee to the body. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Cerrone's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Horns out for the end of round one. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready, ready. Second round underway. And maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling.